Have you noticed anything odd about my smallest tawbirds? Normally, they are a lot smaller than this, but these smallest tawbirds don't seem to be smallish at all. In fact, they are about as tall as fully grown tawbirds. Also, I'm using the Show Me mod that allows me to see stats of world objects. When using this mod, normal smallest tawbirds have a countdown to when they become tawbirds. These smallest tawbirds don't have that time. They don't have a timer because I've successfully stopped them from growing up, which means that no matter how many consecutive hours I spend playing in this world, they will never turn into the murder monsters that tries to kill the guy who raised them. If you want to learn how to do this, then stick around as I go over how to stop smallest tawbirds from growing up. Have you ever tried to raise a tawbird egg before? If you have, then you know from experience that it's most likely the toughest follower in the game to obtain. First, you have to spend three game days protecting the egg from freezing, overheating, and hungry mobs in order to just get a small bird. After that, you have to sink 10 days into protecting the thing with your life, because not only does it only have 50 HP, but hostile mobs seem to like to target them more than you. So you're essentially spending 10 days completely avoiding combat. Even worse, they can trigger things like tooth traps and don't run away when taking damage from things like fire or lava pits. To top it all off, the only foods they can eat is stuff like seeds and berries. So if you're going to raise a bunch of them, you better make sure that you've been farming for a while because the random seeds that are dropped by birds will not cut it. If you successfully do all that, the game rewards your 13 days of sacrifice with a smallish tallbird. The smallish tallbird is probably the strongest follower mob in the game. It has 600 HP, deals 37.5 damage per hit, and has a very fast attack period of 2. The only mob that rivals its strength is the Loyal Mermguard, who has a lower DPS, giving it slightly less attack power and slightly more HP. Like the Loyal Mermguard, smallest tawbirds can't be panicked when bosses roar, which helps them when taking out raid bosses. Unlike the Loyal Mermguards, smallest tawbirds recover 200 HP every time they eat anything, and by anything, I mean anything. This means that even stuff like Rot, which doesn't restore any hunger, will heal them for 200 HP. Their only real downside on paper is that they do have a hunger stat which goes down over time. The hunger stat maxes out at 60, so feeding it anything that's worth more than 60 hunger points will still only restore 60. Oh and another downside is that after 18 days, your smallest tawbird will become a regular tawbird that is no longer a loyal servant who will fight to the death for you, but instead, they become malevolent creatures that will try to kill you and will relentlessly chase you if you go anywhere near them. So smallish tawbirds are really a novelty follower in DST. They require a ton of effort to get, maintain, and even after that you only have them for 18 days before they try to kill you. However, if you do this simple trick, then the monumental effort you put into getting a smallish tawbird won't be in vain. To stop a smallish tawbird from growing up, you simply need to put it to sleep while it's in the middle of its growing up animation. Once small birds grow into smallish tawbirds, it will take exactly 18 days before they transform into fully grown tawbirds. So when they go from smallish to smallish tall, take note of the exact time of day because at the exact same time 18 days from now, they will undergo the next transformation. The transformation animation is pretty fast, so you have to seriously be ready to blow the pan flute as soon as you see the animation start. To make this easier, put some distance between yourself and your birds by hopping onto a boat or putting them behind walls. When you're not near them, they will continue to walk to you. The instance you see them stop this walk animation, you know that they are starting to transform. So keeping them walking beforehand makes it really easy to react to them transforming. Another reason you want to keep them in the walk animation is because if your smallest top bird is asleep before they transform, the pan flute will not work on them. My guess is that the game considers them already asleep even during the transformation, so the pan flute won't affect anything that is already asleep. So keep your distance so that they continuously walk at you. The second and final thing to note is that you have to make sure that they are not starving when they transform. I'm not sure what the reason is for this, but if your birds are starving when they transform and you succeed in preventing them from becoming fully grown tall birds, there is a chance that they will no longer follow you. Instead, they'll just be neutral to you, which effectively makes them useless since they can't help you fight. So make sure that you give your birds a good feeding before they transform. Other than that, the last thing to note is that if your reaction time is really good and you blow the pan flute really close to the start of the transformation, unfortunately your smallest tall birds won't grow to be as big as normal tall birds. So if you really want to maximize your cool factor, rewatch the part of this video that shows when to blow the pan flute in order to get fully grown tallish small birds. Also note that even if they look as big as tall birds, your smallest tall birds still have the exact same stats, so don't try to get them into 1v1 death matches with a tall bird because they will lose. That is of course unless you juice them up first because a smallest tall bird that has both the garlic and pepper buff will be just about as strong as a tall bird. So with this trick you can get permanent smallest tall birds no matter how long you play the game for. 
Unfortunately, this little trick stops working if you exit your game or enter the caves. Once you do this, all your smallest tall birds will have turned into tall birds when you reload the surface world, which really sucks. I'm not sure about public servers or servers that don't shut down once you leave, but I'd assume that they'd stay smallish even if you left. Anyways, that pretty much sums up the video. It's a really neat trick that's definitely not going to make tall birds a part of the meta, but in my opinion, it makes them a far more viable option, especially if you're just trying to have fun in the late game and you happen to be playing as a character who can make smallest tall birds deal triple the amount of damage they can normally do. Like always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great day.